of skirts. Yeah. Nope, she's no, not there. <laughs> That's a new one. Hmm. Is she there? She's not there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I haven't had breakfast, but I have had two cups of coffee. I want to make the um, like the stir fry veggies, and I don't want to use ramen. I want to use maybe some different kind of pastas because with stir fry, like with um, how I make my ramen, you could always do it, but without the ramen noodles. And sometimes I don't want to overdo the ramen. I think that is why. I never really bought ramen, but Miss Christina introduced me to it and I love it. But it is very, because I don't know why I gained like three pounds. I'm not eating, <laughs> not eating. We have a convection oven that it that came with the house. We were actually gonna get rid, of, get rid of it. If you guys remember when we got our fridge delivered, this whole thing um, we will eventually get rid of, but the thing is it works right now. And I just really don't wanna concentrate on fixing it. Um, the counter and everything else we are doing, we're just waiting for the weather. Um, we're going to do everything. Waiting for the weather. It's been very cold. Like It's hard to do anything with the house. See how when I painted this, it's starting to peel because when I painted it, it was very cold, so it didn't set right. Um, I, I read up on that. So that's why I'm, I'm going to like just do a quick sand and then I'm just um, not enough to take away the paint just a very light just to take out the first layer and then I'm gonna do um, matte poly on it because the stuff I did the liqueur um, it start it's peeling a little bit only a little bit but because it's a very um, high what do you call that like when you're constantly using it high area high traffic <laughs> I never find my words sometimes. Friends, I never find my words sometimes. Anyways, I'm making um I'm making Danny's class uh Valentine's Day treat because today's two went Thursday, so this is their last hula class together before actual Valentine's Day. This is my lover's delight chocolate, like triple chocolate, quadruple chocolate, whatever chocolate you got, just put it in there kind of thing very rich so what i do is for the kids at school or danny's friends i always half it so it doesn't look as um plump as the normality of when i bake that's not even a word diane normality as i normally have it but it's just for the baby so it's for like the eight year olds eight to ten so they're fine and then um and then this, I have to I have to put my sign aside. And then I'm just doing this. And then, um, remember a long time ago, if you guys followed me years and years ago, not really. This was a cut that I made like a long time ago and I still kept it. So, um, so I have some and then I'm just going to probably do that. And then I'm going to have a saying that says, um, you're such a tweet, tweet heart, tweet. You know what I mean? Tweet. Such a tweet heart. Now I think I want to make my macarons of um, uh, cotton candy, cookies and cream for the kidlets. Okay. Wow. So I already started it. Okay. My goodness. Not pretty. I'm making um, cotton candy. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay. Don't put your hand in there. Okay. My little helper. All right, friends, here is my cotton candy, and I'm not joking. Um, as much as my families love macaron, and they are pretty pricey. You can buy them for like 3 to $5 a piece in fancy, um, rest, uh, fancy bakeries, right? And so I purposely had to learn and keep practicing how to make these because they're pretty expensive, and my kids love them. Even hubby, hubby will eat so much. But, okay, understand this. This is one sheet of cookie because they're sandwiched together. So this is basically a dozen cookie. That's it. And then here is more. That's two batches with six eggs. <laughs> because one batch is three eggs. And then you got the almond flour that's pretty pricey. So this is why uh, macarons are pretty pricey. And plus... I don't know how it's going to turn out. It never turns out perfect or it never turns out quite 
how I want it to turn out. It's very finicky. But it's worth it if um totally worth it if you guys learn how to um how to make uh macarons. So I'm gonna you're supposed to let it sit. I never have the patience um to let it sit. So <gasps> ooh, I just messed up. Mm, see? This is the one I pipe first. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um, but as soon as um and they're pretty big and the reason that they're big is I purposely made them big this one's not so big because then I don't even have enough I can have like the family taste one each and that's it because um, orchestra mom one of the moms I know um, she loves my macarons so I'm gonna give her two of these and then two I'm gonna make orange sickle because I have one orange and I use my own orange zest so um, to make my orange sickle it's, it's best that way and then I'm going to make two or three batches of my large buttercream. I'm going to divide it to one cotton candy, one plain for when I get home because I still got to make more for our friend's day, and one for orange sickle. But it's just buttercream, and then I divide it, and then I, um, I add for my orange sickle, I add like zest of real... Um, like orange, orange zest, and then squeeze a little bit of the orange juice into it. And if I don't have, if the orange, sometimes the orange juice out of the orange is not really orangey, then I, if I have orange juice, I'll add a little tablespoon of that. That's just how I do it. Um, that's not how everybody does it. But, you know, when you have, when you bake as often as you do, you tend to have your own thing. So that's what I do. I don't honestly like to use flavoring too much if I can avoid it. Cotton candy, you have no choice. Um, orange sickle, you can use orange, orange juice zest of an orange like lemon you can use lemon zest instead of flavored lemon because a lot of the um, extract um, like peppermint extract it's so bittery and it's so powerfully strong that if you're not careful then it becomes bitter um, I do use like the coloring though like um, food coloring I honestly use just a cheaper one I get them at Joann's or at the grocery store nothing fancy you don't need, you don't need to buy anything fancy just that and this is pink coloring just a regular pink coloring so yes i'm making macarons oven i also got these cookies that i'm gonna um i'm just letting i think i'm gonna give this batch away and then keep these i have jonathan says mom you have to keep cookies in the house don't give them all away <laughs> jonathan jonathan loves these cookies i'm gonna get an apple for danica to munch on because um she had a sandwich for lunch I haven't even had breakfast or lunch and it is 12 28 so I gotta make another batch I'm cleaning as I go because I have to I can't have I can't have all that mess um, but I'm gonna make her I'm gonna make her um, I'm getting stressed because I should have done this last night and this is like the time in my head it just it I have um, like I know I have like some sort of a, like um, like an anxiety or I don't want to call it anxiety because I like because I have teenagers Oi, it's raining pretty hard I don't want to call it anxiety when I get like I call it like nervousness because when you have teenagers you have to watch what you say the words that you do the actions that you do because if I if I'm feeling sad and then I say oh I have depression because then that gets into their head that it's so easy to just call it certain names of you know but what it is is that I didn't I didn't prepare myself I should have I should have done some of the things that I'm doing now yesterday and this is what I tell my um this is another rant I said to just rant with you guys but this is why I tell my teenagers always be prepared do not study for your final exam the night before you know read up on it and it's raining pretty hard and I love it I love it it's this reminds me of the rain in the Philippines it's like it's coming from that direction and look it's going this way oh right, friends let me show you how crazy it is I was just I was just enjoying the rain like 15 minutes ago 15 because I had my timer on for the cookies look Sun look at the clouds see how fast it's moving in and Miss Christina is out running with the rain that was 10 minutes ago 
she called me right after I was talking with you guys and it's like I'm going for a run I go it's raining buckets buckets she goes it's okay I'll put a bucket on my head and then I'll rain I'll walk so then I it can be buckets of rain and it's okay and I'll be prepared because I'll have a bucket in my head that's Miss Christina she is as crazy as I am reading up mail so Danielle's Tahitian class um, Parero, 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 and then Parero. hubby, we belong to T-Mobile, if you guys have T-Mobile, T-Mobile Tuesday, T-Mobile Tuesdays, um, they had um, $20 off at Fanatics, which Fanatics. is Sports, Sports um, online Fanatics. store, Fanatics, so I got myself a new Seahawks scarf. Yeah, it's a $20 credit last week, huh, yeah, so, so all I had to do is pay for shipping, and how much was shipping, 7 bucks, 7 bucks, so that was $7 so for that $7. scarf, and then there's a flip side with the green. Mm -hmm. So it's an old, it's the old school logo. Mm -hmm. Let me nice. see. So mm -hmm. I have a, I actually have a hat that matches this. Yeah. So this will match. That's what's that. That's this is what I got happy for Valentine's Day. Oh really? <laughs> Just Sweet. in time. Yeah. Sweet. And a shirt. And a shirt. Oh, what kind of shirt, hubby? <laughs> that's the ox <Oxford>. shirt. <laughs> they didn't have a lot. Um, actually, by the end of the day. They're really sold out. I wanted you to get the beach towel instead of a shirt. You didn't tell me. I said no more shirts. I know. And then they're like, I don't want to get a beach Danica towel. Danica wants to tell you something. Go yes, somewhere. Danica. Yes. Oh, I can't hear you. Come come talk to me here. I, might be able to get, um, I can return it and maybe get credit. No. <laughs> Wait, what? I told so hubby no more no about more about shirts. But like those. but this one is nice, like a vintage scarf like this. Mm -hmm. That one is just... Yes. It's your shirt. Happy Valentine's Day, hubby. Um, yeah, hey. Yes, lovely. Glad I picked it. Oh. She said follow her. She said follow her. She said follow her. Oh, follow you. Go ahead. I'll just hand it right here. 